All right, guys, we have a fresh sunrise here. Uh, Dizzle is back with another tutorial for you, and we are going to be working on the uh, starter fishing camp that we have going on over there. So let's get started right away. Let's go into floors, and again, this the floors is important because it's going to dictate uh, your build, and you pretty much want to put the rustic wood floor the direction of the water. That's pretty much how that's going to work. So let's put one down. And then we'll come off and actually we'll come off of this one. Try to snap to it. This way it'll make everything else even. And you want to make sure you leave at least one one full square space. Okay. And then we're gonna come back with the uh wood wide floor number two. And you're gonna put one here, same thing. Make sure there's one full square. You're gonna come off this way. I'm gonna be in the way. That should, that should be right. Yep. And then you're gonna come off one more. One, two, what's going on there? I think I'm in the way. There we go. All right, so yeah, we got our foundation, or we got our floors down. So now we're going to come back with some uh, some pillars. Thank you very much. We'll take your web. I'll uh, see, we got to go into walls. We're going to grab a uh, umber wall. We're going to put one there. I'm going to come off of this just to make sure we're centered. Oh, that one's off. I should have done it this way. Oh, I need a supporting piece. It's going to keep telling me this. All right, here's what we're going to do, guys. Um, We're going to put this down anyway, so let's go back to floors. Uh, Grab wood thin floor number... Is that number four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snap to it, put one down there. Snap to it, put one down there. Now we should get our supporting piece. Let's try it again. That's if it's happening to you guys. If it's not, then you should be good to go. There you go. But again, that might may or may not happen to you, depending on how you build. And it it did happen to me, as you remember, with both of these floors over there. Again, you gotta remember we're in survival, so we're gonna have some uh some obstacles to deal with. This one, it's a full beam. Oh, got to scoot in just a little bit. I won't go. I'm just going to put one down and then snap off of that. Let's put the floor. This is a wood thin floor number four again. Let's put one there. And we're going to put one here. Now we can get rid of this. That was giving us our supporting piece. Okay. We're going to do the same over here. Oh, we may or may not need a supporting piece. We'll find out in a minute. I'm just going to put it down and then we're going to snap off of that. Comes a spider. Uh, this is going to be a full one here. And then a full one. Oh, let's put it down and then we'll come off of it. You may or may not need to do the same thing. Okay. And then these are half pieces. Let's go into walls. Put on your half walls. Grab the umber half wall. I'm going to be in the way on that one. Put one there. And we'll finish off with this one over here. Oh, that one's off. Dang it. This one's always off by one. Let me get this one fixed. All right, I need a supporting piece. So we're going to put, we're going to rustic floor number four. Snap to it. 
can actually put another one on this side. Is that one off? Actually, no, because we just put that there. And now it should fit. I actually need to kill this before I die, guys. Go. Okay. So now we're good. We can put rustic floor number four here. And I think we have... Wood thin floor. Going on here. Oh, it won't go. If I move in a little bit. Nope. There you go. That'll work. And we're kind of going to lose it because of the grass. And again, this may or may not happen to you. And that's why I said, guys, when you're laying your floors down, that's going to be the, your key uh, to making all this work. Okay? Alright, we have a little bit of daylight left. I'm going to put torch on so you can see a little bit more. Now we're going to go to... Uh, Go back in the floors. You're gonna grab uh wood thin floor number two. Again, snapped. Snapped. Umber half wall. At the start of that, you're gonna put one there, one there. Then we're gonna come into uh walls, go down to half walls. Grab log half wall number one, and you're going to put two of those right next to umber half wall. One, two, one, two. And then you can do finish at the end with the umber half wall. Now, you can use these, but you can only use them at the end because we're going to put fences here, and the, that piece will get in the way of fences. That's why I'm not using it. And then floors, uh, come back and grab wood thin floor number four. And you're going to put, let's see, you can put one, two, three, four. Okay. Go back in the walls, come down to half walls. Log half wall number three. It was already going into place. Okay. So it should look like this, guys. Now let's finish the roof. This is the mini storage. Uh, Dizzle storage shed. This is the mini storage shed. Snap to the corner. Rustic gable right. Snap to the gable right. And go up to your roofs. And it's going to be rustic roof number three. Snap off your gables. And I believe this is ridge number four. Okay, we have a little bit of daylight left. Let's keep going. Go back in your favorites if, if it's there. If not, you're going to go back into floors. You're going to grab wood thin floor number four. Let's finish this off. Um, and then one more here. Okay. All right. Let's put in the fences. It's going to be uh, plank railing number three. And just like if you've been following my tutorials, guys, we're going on the inside. Uh, not there. Just bump it in just a little bit. And then I'm not doing the full fence that we that you've seen me do. Uh, let's grab wood thin floor number four. Put one on top. One on top. We didn't do this one. All right. This is uh, wood thin floor number four. You can snap. Snap. And then that's rustic thin floor number four. Okay, so all our floors are in now. Alright. Then we're gonna go into uh let's see beams, support beams. Rustic beam number four. Turn it so the the flat edge is facing you. Put one there. And then so one is flush with up top. Same on this side. Okay, so it should look like that. When we come back with some fresh daylight, we'll uh, we'll continue. All right, guys, daylight is coming back. Let's uh, get back to it. You're going to uh, fences, and you're going to grab 
rustic railing number three. And you want it as close to you as possible. You want you want it flush, so then you get this uh, bevel. That actually that piece is wrong. Well, it doesn't have to be. If you want it, depends which side you want the flat side, guys. I would want that facing out. Probably this one's probably wrong too. So, but it's okay for the sake of the of the tutorial. It's fine. You're gonna go up three. Total of three. Uh, why is this one off? I think it's off because of the, the floor. Let's see if this one's off. But it should fit snug, guys. The floor is off. Alright, guys, we're back. It wasn't the uh, floors, it was the beams. I think we should be good to go now. Uh, Alright, let's put... We need uh, wood thin foot number four here. Not sure if we have it. Okay, and then this is fixed now, we see that. And then off of here, you're gonna come back to rustic railing number three. And again, guys, I'm going on the inside. But again, this is why I'm saying too, you just make sure your floors are where you want them and then you might need to make adjustments with this guys. This is not, it's an easy build overall, but it's the location of where you put it that's gonna make the difference. And then this is open because the way I built it is we built out further and we built a, uh, we expanded into the water. So I'll leave that up to you. If not, uh, continue watching uh, my build on Craftopia because we will definitely be expanding into the water and you can see how we do that. Okay. So that's done. That's done. Let's do up top. So let's get these beams in. Can't put my torch away. So I'll go back to rustic beam number four. And come across. Actually, make sure the uh, circles are facing you. Well, that beam is not right. All right, let's try this again. This is why, too, guys, if you're not comfortable with this, like making having to make adjustments, you're going to want to make sure you're on some flat land. I've done this enough to where it doesn't bother me. It does from a tutorial standpoint, because I want to have it right for you guys. And it's still off. All right, try this again. Make sure the flat side's facing you. There we go. Now that's even. Let's make sure this one's right. I think it is. Yeah. And then one more. This one doesn't matter because it's on the inside. Actually, we got to do both of these. Come across. Down one. We're good. Right? No, it's not. I do not know why I'm shrugging other than because of the ground is throwing me off right now. I tried to find the flattest land possible, and this is the best I got right now. There we go. So we should look like this, guys. Alright, let's do the floors up top. I'm going to grab uh, rustic floor number four. And you're not going to come off the beam. You're going to come off the, uh, I'm sorry, not the, uh, the post here. You're going to come off the beam. So you're going to leave that exposed like that for now. And you can do that twice. So you should be able to snap right off of that one. There you go. And then let's go into floors. Uh, rustic beam number two, I believe. Yeah. One on that side. One on that side. And now we can do the beams. Umber wall. Actually goes on the outside. One there. One there. And this should be a full rustic floor number four. There you go. Okay. And then you can go into stairs. And the stairs are going to come right off of that. I'm going to snap to it. Again, the ground's uneven, so there you go. Should look like this, guys. All right, and then let's go back and grab wide floor number number two. 
You're gonna, guys, they're in here uh, doing their thing, so you're gonna see some pings possibly, okay? Okay. All right, hang on just a second. All right, that beam was off, so I had to fix it. All right, we are good from here. So, umber wall on each corner. Went to walls, come down to your doors. Log door number three. Actually, let's do the windows first. Be easier. Oh, let's do the inside of here into our little uh, patio or lookout slash walkout. Uh, let's see. Scroll up to... You want uh, log wall number two? Put one on each side. Supports. Uh, rustic beam number two. Again, make sure the round side's facing you and the flat side's facing out. Make sure it's flush. It's up to you if you want to put a piece here or not because the door is going to have one there. I'll leave that entirely up to you. Walls, windows, log window number three. One there, one there. And then go back down to doors. Log door number three. Okay. Now we go to roofs. Uh, gables. Right gable snapped to the post. Left gable, you can snap right to the other one. Hop down. Start with whatever, whatever gable you want, guys. Just make sure you do it to the corner and then do snap to the opposite side. Okay. And then that should be a number five as far as the uh, rustic roof goes. One on each side. Oh, I did it wrong. I'll get up there and knock that down. And then we're going to get some ladders. Or some ladders. Some uh, stairs. So we can get our uh, ridge on. And I got to get up there to take that down. Get back in the roofs. Grab a rustic ridge number five. It won't fit completely, so it's a... Number five, and I want to say number three, it is. Okay. Eat some uh, steak really quick. Fences, rustic railing number three. One there, one there. And it's going to be... One there, and then you can come grab walls, half walls, umber half wall. Actually, that one's going to go all the way across. So put an umber half wall there, there, and there, and then go back to fences. Might be plank railing number two. No. I think we might need two. No, I am doing a post there. Why? Yeah, do a post. And then a number two. There you go. Let's hop down. Go on the floors. Uh, you're going to grab rustic railing number four. Now, if you're going to come off, you're not going to come off. You're going to come off. Yeah, right, right off the floor, not the post. So just make sure it's level. You see how it's level? The floor right there. I mean, my head's in the way. And my torch now. There you go. See how it's level? And then you can snap right off of that. Man, it's snapping on its own. I don't even have to snap. All right. Uh, then go into floors. Rustic thin floor number two. And we're about done, guys. After this, let's see. Floor here. We're just going to put in some uh, cabinets and the machines, and we're done. I don't 
think, yeah, that piece there. Wood floor number three. Put one there. One there. This is the wood floor number four. That's off because I didn't snap to it. Guys, I know I said I wasn't going to take hand-me-downs, but man, I cannot let all that fish go. I got to fix this, guys. I'll fix that uh, in a second. I do not know why, but it's not snapping with that piece right now. All right. Let's go finish up top with the uh, railing and then again we'll come back and then we'll finish with machines it's done this is this is basically the build guys rustic railing number one again i'm coming off the inside of that rustic wall right here the inside of it you can kind of see it there on the right see how it has a little bit of a half a square gap and i am using the corners i don't use these often but i am Just make sure it's even, see how it's flush. And it's gonna be a number two. And then a number one. There we go. That's it guys, that's the structure. Uh, we come back, I'll have it all finished for you. Basically it's uh, the, uh, the food processor there. A juicer here, the grain here, and the uh, grill here. All right, guys, we're back. I have the machines in. Grab this. But we have the food processor in there, the grain mill, the juicer, and the grill. And again, you can design this out, the, the cabinets, guys, how you want. If you want more storage. You don't have to use these corner pieces because I know these corner pieces don't offer storage and they take up space. Uh, I like to use them sometimes uh, just for looks. But if you want more storage, uh, I suggest then taking those out over here. Again, a corner piece, but a single, a double, single. That's a single. That's a single. And then here, I left this open, guys. This is entirely up to you. But if you want to go back and repeat this step that we did for this area back here, uh, you can do that. You can actually put that right in here. That'll fit. That'll be the, the beam and then three of uh, the railings and then a the beam up top. Okay. And that'll give you another another covering. I actually I will do that in my uh the build that we're doing that we're doing over there. So if you want to see that, how that looks, um uh, again, watch that video and I will show you how we do that. As well as probably add a cabinet or two. And I think you can add some cabinets as well on the side. Let's see what we can fit here. Um I think it's just singles. Yeah, see, if you want more storage, you can add those in on the side, guys. Okay, but there you go. Again, a fairly simple design uh, for a starter fishing camp. At least that's what Dizzle was calling. This is the exact same, pretty much the same thing that I did. And they, uh, the video that I shared, I said, let's talk fishing. This is this was it. Okay, the difference was actually, yeah, I did get no, I did. I don't think I had it on the floor. I figured that out. Um, little after that okay so there you go i hope this helps i hope you utilize it uh in your build 